welcome to mica group of minerals so the outline of the topic that means this includes introduction general characters physical properties optical properties structure chemical composition muscovite biotite logopite and lepidolite so these are the important uh, uh, minerals in the mica group so coming to introduction so micas are important rock forming minerals so these are all uh, uh, they belong to phyllosilicates exhibiting sheet structure that is si4o10 or uh, si2o5 uh, either the same and they are apparently uh, they are uh, hexagonal that's why these are known as a pseudo hexagonal so they are apparently hexagonal orthorhombic but they all belongs to the monoclinic crystal system and here uh, the cleavage they break at uh, 60 to 160 degrees so that means the prism angles are about 60 to 120 degrees and uh, they show perfect basal cleavage this is the very important characteristic feature of the micas they show perfect basal cleavage and these are the important property which is observed in the mica group of minerals and the elastic laminae of the micas that is tenacity it is about uh, flexible and elastic uh, uh, most of the minerals have the brittle nature but uh, these uh, micas are very flexible and elastic also and the perfect basal cleavage it is due to its uh, sheet structure this is the phyllosilicates these uh, are known as a uh, exhibiting sheet structure this is the important uh, property in the mica group coming to the general characters um, so uh, on the cleavage surface of the mica the hardness it is about 2.5 and the perpendicular to this direction the hardness is 4 and uh, here uh, in the structure or chemical composition we can see the hydroxyl molecules are always present in the mica group and when they are heated in a closed tube they yield water so that indicates that it water is present in all the mica group of minerals and when uh, it also shows uh, that means due to percussion figures like when they are struck with a needle Uh, it gives rise to some percussion figures and uh, pressure figures okay and these micas they contain 33 to 55% of silica and uh, so these are uh, uh, any of uh, what you can see that uh, uh, they contain hydrous potassium aluminum silicate minerals it's a kind of the fillo silicate and it's showing a dimensional sheet structure or layer structure and this is a important property for the uh, cleavage also so among the most important rock forming minerals so these uh, micas are uh, located in all types of rocks uh, like igneous sedimentary and metamorphic group of rocks coming to the composition or uh, general formula uh, so this is about the general formula of the mica group of minerals like uh, uh, it is represented by x2 y4 to 6 z8 o20 oh and fluorine also present so oh and f taken to the power of 4 so here x represents sodium and potassium y it represents aluminum magnesium iron iron plus 2 iron plus 3 and lithium and z is nothing but uh, it includes aluminum and silicon ions may also be present the coming to the fillo silicate or uh, sheet structure so the structure present in the fillo silicates it is known as the sheet structure so you can see that uh, the sheet structure uh, like this and uh, this is responsible for the perfect basal cleavage and pseudo hexagonal habit of the micas so here uh, in sheet structure uh, what we can see that each tetrahedra share three corners with the neighboring tetrahedra and as a result the uh, composition is si4o10 or we can say that si2o5 and they extend indefinitely so you can see that in the diagram they extend indefinitely in two directions and uh, they form a sheet like structure so excellent example uh, we can see that the micas and also chlorite and talc they also belongs to this fillo silicates so coming to the mica group of minerals this is the important structural formula of these minerals like muscovite phlogopite biotite and lepidolite so muscovite uh, this is also known as a common mica so it constitutes of potassium aluminum silicate with water so here uh, kal2 si3 alo10 oh twice and uh, similarly the phlogopite it is uh, instead of aluminum here magnesium is present so potassium magnesium aluminum silicate hydrous potassium magnesium silicate aluminum silicate is known as a phlogopite and similarly biotite so biotite it contains potassium magnesium and iron silica aluminate and lepidolite is uh, it contains lithium so that is it's also known as a lithium mica so potassium lithium aluminum silicate and water molecules so coming to the muscovite it is also known as a potash mica or it also known as a common mica or white mica because its color is almost uh, colorless or white so this is a common mineral it belongs to the most of the mica group and it is a silicate mineral yes it is a phyllosilicate and it is characterized by its sheet structure 
and uh, this is composed of uh, potassium aluminum silicon and oxygen atoms arranged in sheets and it is uh, especially responsible for its uh, basal cleavage or excellent cleavage which allows it to be easily split into uh, flakes or uh, like uh, thin sheets thin flexible and sheets and uh, these sheets are often transparent to translucent and they have a pearly luster so these uh, the luster is uh, known as a pearly luster and uh, it's a common mineral uh, yes it will it is characterized by its sheet structure and uh, it is composed of aluminum silicon oxygen arranged in the sheets and uh, so these are very transparent to translucent so here coming to the crystal system it uh, most uh, all the mica group of minerals they belong to the monoclinic system and they exhibit the form or habit it is uh, like uh, uh, they are very flakes like uh, micaceous or flaky sometimes uh, very thin lamellae are present so when crystals are very fine grain so the same mica it is known as all it alters to sericite that means the fine grain mica is known as a sericite so it's also known as sericite mica so its color is colorless or light green uh, these are the physical properties like a streak it is white and uh, it has an uneven fracture and it has a vitreous or pearly luster we can see some cases vitreous sometimes pearly also and uh, cleavage is perfect basal cleavage and uh, hardness it is very less that is two to three and tenacity uh, most of the um, mica group of minerals uh, they are flexible and elastic so these are some of the varieties like uh, footsite paragonite and sericite so footsite means it contains small amount of chromium whereas the paragonite it contains uh, sodium replacing potassium instead of the potassium uh, sodium will be present then that mica is known as a paragonite and sericite so this is a very fine grain and it contains fine scaly aggregates with a silky luster whereas the other uh, forms of the mica they exhibit a pearly luster or uh, vitreous luster but this exhibits sericite it will exhibit silky luster we can see from the picture then uh, coming to the occurrence it occurs in all kind of rocks like uh, igneous sedimentary and metamorphic but it occurs most abundantly in igneous rocks and like uh, pegmatites there's a huge uh, bodies and then uh, granites cyanides etc and it also occurs apart from the uh, most abundant igneous rocks it will also occur in the metamorphic and sedimentary but it is most predominant in igneous rocks like pegmatites granites and cyanides then uh, it is commonly associated with uh, other minerals like quartz, feldspar, biotite, beryl, tourmaline, etc. And it is mostly used in the manufacture of electronic industry, electrical apparatus, dynamos and motors, etc. Coming to the optical properties, that means the 2V uh, optic axial angle is 30 to 47 and it is uh, optically negative and usually it is colorless and when the crystals are very fine grain it exhibits the habit known as a sericite mica the mineral the same uh, it is known as a sericite mica and cleavage is the perfect basal cleavage and uh, relief it is very low to moderate and uh, uh, by refringence it is high upper third order colors and uh, extinction we can see straight on the cleavage coming to the biotite mica this is also known as a dark mica so the crystal system is a monoclinic and habit is micaceous or flaky and color dark green brown or black generally it is dark green and some cases it may be black black or brown so streak it is white to gray and uh, litreous it is vitreous or sometimes it may be pearly and sometimes it may be due to this shining nature it may be metallic nature also in the case of biotite and fracture it has uneven fracture and uh, cleavage is perfect basal cleavage hardness it is about two to three and the tenacity almost all the mica group of minerals are flexible and elastic so it occurs uh, so the varieties like uh, lepidomelin lepidomelin it is a variety of the biotite which is rich in iron so iron rich variety of the biotite is known as a lepidomelin and it occurs in igneous rocks like pegmatites granites cyanides diorites etc and it is associated with uh, quartz muscovite hornblende feldspars etc as in the case of the muscovite so coming to the optical properties it is a uh, uh, the 2V is 0 to 25 degrees and it is uh, optically negative. Color it is brownish or greenish and uh, it shows the pleochorism. It shows strong yellow or dark brown. Uh, this is the important uh, significant feature of the biotype and uh, it exhibits a platy crystals and relief it is moderate. Uh, this alters to chloride under uh, water. That means if, the, uh, if water is present, then biotite alters to chloride and birefringence it has high to very high birefringence. Coming to phlogopite, so phlogopite it is a chemical composition that means it uh, it contains potassium, magnesium, silica, alumina, oxygen and water that is water molecules are always present. So KMG3, SI3, AlO10, OH twice is the phlogopite chemical composition. So here in phlogopite magnesium iron uh, ratio it is more than uh, 
2 is to 1 whereas in bitate it is less than 2 is to 1. So, this is the important how we can identify the uh, phlogopite and the bitate. So, in phlogopite magnesium iron percentage uh, what you can see that it is more than 2 is to 1 whereas in bitate it is less than 2 is to 1 and the manganese and the titanium may replace magnesium and iron. So, this is the so crystal system, it belongs to monoclinic system, uh, these are the physical properties like uh, form and habit, prismatic crystals and it has a white color, colorless brown sometimes, copper red color, uh, cleavage is the perfect basal cleavage, that is 001 along this direction, it shows the basal cleavage and it is pearly, often submetallic or uh, um, it shows the, most of the cases it shows pearly luster and some submetallic also and it has the daphnity, it is a uh, transparent uh, crystal or transparent mineral. Tenacity, these are uh, cleavage flakes are uh, flexible and elastic. Hardness, it is of over 2 to 2.5 and specific gravity 2.76 to 2.9. So, coming to the optical properties, it has a pale brown color and uh, nearly colorless in thin sections. Uh, here, it, this also shows a pleochrism but not that strong as in the case of uh, biotite. So, it, it shows weak pale colors like yellow and other uh, this thing. And habit, it is subhedral tabular crystals and cleavage yes as usual it is a perfect basal cleavage and relief low to moderate and uh, birefringence of higher third order colors and it shows uh, straight extinction. Occurrence it occurs in uh, especially metamorphic impure magnesian limestone when compared to the igneous rocks it occurs more in the metamorphic rocks and uh, yeah this is uh, uh, more in the metamorphic when compared to the ultramorphic rock of uh, igneous rocks. And this is a common constituent in the kimberlites. This is also another important thing. So, this is phlogopite. It is very common. It occurs in association with the kimberlites. And it is uh, used in the electrical industry. Coming to the lepidolite. So, lepidolite means it contains lithium. Yes, uh, that. Uh, so, it has a chemical composition KLI2ALSI4O10 OH twice. The physical properties like a crystal system, monoclinic and form and habit, it occurs in plates similar to the muscovite that's why it is known as the flaky and uh, sometimes it may be granular and uh, its color is uh, this is very important characteristic feature that is a lilac color and uh, it uh, also occurs in rose red violet gray white and cleavage it is perfect uh, basal cleavage that is 001 and it has a pearly luster and it's very transparent mineral and it has a hardness of 2.5 to 4 and specific gravity of 2.8 to 2.9. So, here this is the important uh, characteristic feature of uh, this is uh, uh, lepidolite, it, uh, color it is uh, uh, something like uh, pink, uh, so lilac color. So, it, these are the optical properties like 2V 30 to 47 degrees and it is uh, negative, optical it is negative, colorless and uh, it has a fine grain crystals, it is known as a sericite and cleavage is the perfect basal cleavage and it has a uh, transparent uh, mineral and uh, low to moderate is the relief. And uh, we cannot see uh, any alteration of this mineral. That's why alteration is absent. And by refringence, it is up about uh, high upper third order colors. And extinction is uh, straight extinction. So, it occurs in late uh, stage pegmatites. So, this is the characteristic feature of this lepidolite. It occurs in late stage pegmatites, which is associated with tourmaline, topaz and other minerals, which is are of uh, nematolytic origin. And this is used in uh, electronics industry, dynamos and etc. And uh, another variety that is known as a ginvaldite, it is a mica with similar characteristics as pyrite with uh, lithium in the structure. So, that is known as a ginvaldite. These are the references. Hope uh, you have uh, enjoyed this uh, lecture. Thank you for your time.